I hurt myself today to see if I still feel I focus on the pain <laughs> What is the point the of fun? Thing thing You'll never be popular. Just give up. Why are you the continuing this asshole? You've done it for almost five years. No, no, five years. I just look at you. You're not funny. Try to kill it. That guy is probably the most retarded bitch. You'll never see your entire life. Everything. Oh, fuck that cunt. Probably that guy I will never have become. anything in his life. He'll never be someone. Nice oh well. Might as well to to drink blades and die. Everyone I know goes away in the end. And you could have it all. My empire of dirt. Upon my liar's chair Full of broken thoughts I cannot repair Beneath the stains of time The feelings disappear You are someone else I am still right here What have I become? Hi guys, today we are going to review Logan Logan is another installment in the X-Men movie franchise and this movie is supposed to be the last film that Huge Jackman is gonna play as Wolverine This movie is definitely by far one of the best Wolverine movies, X-Men movies and of obviously the best performance that Hugh Jackman has ever done. And this is beyond amazing. So, first of all, before we start the review, let me tell you something. Deadpool was one of the first X um, that was the first R-rated movies that was mostly about poking fun of the superhero genre and while at the same time trying to be a bit uh, comedy, bring the fourth wall and thus I also had made a review about it which you can check it out on my channel and on the link in the description so with this movie success we have the opportunity to see Wolverine particularly Logan and this movie is R-rated thus and before we start the review this movie is not a superhero movie Despite that it has Logan as the main character, it's not a superhero movie. So, when you go to check out the movie, don't think of it as a superhero. Anyway, <clears throat> the plot of the movie begins in 2029, when there, there is barely any mutants at all for the past 25 years. And thus, there is a girl whose name is Laura, particularly X-23, which resembles Wolverine in a way. And thus, we follow Logan, who is, as we can definitely see, very tired and lose all hopes. And you can blame him, to be honest. And thus, he has to help Xavier, and thus, they have to bring the girl to a certain place. That is basically the plot of the movie. The plot of the movie kind of has a similarity between the old Logan the comic book, and also tries to take some elements in the particularly in the distant future like you like uh, there barely any superheroes left and that he's the only one here and not only that this movie feels like it's down to earth like it's not something about extraordinary amazing phenomenal incredible 
This movie is set on a real tone. And the characters, they're not good people. Neither bad. They're just on the gray side. Which is very rare considering that this is an X-Men movie. And as I said, Hugh Jackman gives his best performance to date. You can genuinely see how Logan is so tired. He lost everything. He has no motivation to be positive. He's cursing in a way. And he feels like there's nothing left to live for and he's very depressed depressed he's very bad in a way that there's no rainbows and all of that stuff xavier plays his character very well and the girl who plays laura she's decent i have to say she's pretty good the villain was okay he wasn't the, he's not um, the greatest part but he definitely serves up as the main villain and there are some nice fan service and maybe Breaking some fourth wall here and there. Ah well, you you decide about that. The soundtrack of the movie is amazing. They, they put this music fits into the character of Logan and the tone of the movie. It says it beautifully. It's scream. It's depressing. Especially one of the guys who made the trailer. They got the Wolverine character so right, and you can definitely see it, how it is such an amazing music, and I generally hear it every day, it's that good. And despite the movie's two hours, I was not bored at all. And the final battle was amazing, and the finale, beautiful. It closed the character of Wolverine and Hugh Jackman, and they, it didn't feel out of nowhere. It was amazing, and when there were the well, fight scenes, they felt like it was a street fight. It, it didn't feel heroic or amazing, just like every Marvel movie or the X-Men, it felt jarring. And when you see that, that, that Wolverine kills people and there's some blood here and there, it felt right, because, let's be honest, as I said, this is not a superhero movie. So remember that when you go to see the movie. So basically I have absolutely nothing really bad to say about the movie. It's amazing. It hits everything right so without really delaying any further because if i continue to talk about the movie i'm afraid i might spoil some things here that you need to watch this movie so without any delays this movie is one of the best x-men movies of all time alongside with the days of the future past it's Hugh jackman best performance as a wolverine to date it's definitely one of the best wolverine movies to date it goes everything amazingly. So, my ring for this movie is 10 out of 10. Watch this movie. You won't be disappointed. Highly recommended. So, that is all for today, folks. Make sure to like, subscribe to my channel. And have a good day. Um, I'm great, thank you very much. I recently saw the video with the unboxing of the Acer Chromebook. Oh, I think it's you. Oh. It was perfect, but uh, try to give us more information, you know. We want to know about the machine. So, oh, like see. the processor type or the RAM or something like that. Mm. Because if we want to buy it, we must know. I see. Are you alright? Well, um, I'll be kind of a bit of an honest with you. I feel like I'm getting a little bit old for this shit. What do you mean? Well, I mean, how can I say? I'm, I've done videos on YouTube for five years of my life and... Uh, 
I'm not getting popular, I don't want to be respected at all, and I, I think I won't give up. There is no point to be popular, you must be good what, to what you do. Hmm? I think you must be good to what you do, I mean, there is no point to be popular, it's, it depends on your uh, viewers, I mean the likes, I mean, you know, things like that. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. You are good to what you do, so there's no point to... And don't wait to be popular in only five years. We want ages and ages to be popular on something we do, like music, like everything. Well, I think you kind of do have a point here. I... I probably may gonna continue making videos for a while, but I'm not gonna do that forever since I'm getting a little older, getting more responsibilities. So I may I ask you a question? Um, do you like what you see on my channel? Yeah, 100% I like it. Okay. Because you have young YouTubers on the internet which watch you and respect you. And that's the important thing when you do something in order to present yourself or to do something in order to, to tell the people what you think all the time. Alright my friend, looks like I will continue making YouTube videos for a while. That's the best you have to do. Do whatever you like to do. Alright. I mean, I'm writing music, I'm playing music, I hit the music because I love it. And, and only if you love what you do, you will have success. And that's great. So, come here. 